Roger Innes, a big Donald Trump supporter, is a little bit leery of this because if you look at the history of almost any tax, including uh, the value added tax in Europe when it started about two, three, five percent, now on average in, in much of Europe it's north of 20 percent. Once a tax gets rolling, it doesn't stop going up, 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 and that is Niger's feeling. You know, Niger, what happens then is that there's a, a great deal more creativity paid to getting money than addressing the money we're already spending. Perhaps if, for example, in Illinois they looked at their budget and how, how money is allocated, they might find a better way to allocate it. But the knee-jerk response is hit the rich up, more taxes coming in, and that might solve the problem. What do you think? And look, you know, I understand what these folk are trying to do. They're trying to tap into this economic populism that exists on both the left and the right. But what they forget is uh, once a great man said that the power to tax is the power to destroy. And when you tax commerce, then you are taxing the ability of small businesses, of the little guy, of the entrepreneur, to create capital, to create economic activity uh, in the private sector that Illinois desperately needs. I'm just wondering, uh, seeing the exodus of businesses and individuals from areas that have high taxes, um, wouldn't something like this feel more of it? In other words, the money you're hoping to get, not only do you not get, but you get less money than you have now. The fact is, is when you have tax cuts uh, that are appropriate, then you create econ an economic engine that promotes jobs, that creates economic prosperity, and the government ends up getting more money because they get more taxes out of productive companies from the private sector. I think Ma Margaret Thatcher said that uh, uh, the problem with uh, socialism is that eventually you run out of other people's money. Well, that's the problem with a high tax regime. Well, I, I understand in Illinois they have this impasse between the Democratic legislature and a Republican governor. I know that goes. Nothing gets done. I guess all I'm saying is, by all means, look at extra revenue if you've exhausted sort of fine-tuning and accounting for the revenue already being spent. Uh, and if you decide, no, 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 there are things we need, and it's popularly viewed in that, in that community, we need more money, then, then go for it. But I, I don't think that's ever, ever looked into. It's much like the $100 billion plus every year we commit to infrastructure. God knows, and you and I have seen them. We need more better bridges and roads. But... But what happened to the money allocated to do just that? Right. So something well, tells me they're not going to bridges and roads. Something tells me that a lot of this money earmarked for these social causes will go to other causes. They will go to feed the bureaucracy. They will go to feed uh, the monster that is uh, it's certainly in Illinois an out of control uh, state government. Um, what you need more than anything else right now is a strangling of the beast, if you will, not feeding the beast. Uh, if, if you recall this uh, stimulus bill that was passed uh, during Obama's first term in the uh, unprecedented amount of money, it was supposed to go towards infrastructure. And, that, and President Obama soon after uh, admitted in, during an economic panel that, uh, you know, apparently these ready-made jobs were not quite as ready as we thought. I mean, you know, look, the bottom line is that the private sector and small businesses are the greatest generator of economic growth uh, that our world has ever known within our country. And during this era, you've had more small businesses close than uh, you've had open up. That's unprecedented in our country. Our country is strangling from overregulation and, and overtaxation. And you know who gets this, oddly enough, oddly enough, is Bernie Sanders. Uh, he recognized that just sticking out on the rich wasn't going to pay for all of this. So he recommended and, and has in his package a middle class tax hike. Now, his argument is that the middle class will get far more bang for the buck than the bucks uh, they're paying in. But at least he's honest enough to say, all of these big goals I have cannot be paid for going after guys like Niger Innes, right? <laughs> you certainly don't want to. You're, you're squeezing rock from a, blood from a stone there. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to slip that in. All right, buddy. Thank you. Well, thank you. Very, thank very you, much. Nigerian.